Welcome back everybody, this is Lois back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can install Ubuntu 17.10 on your virtual box. The reason why I'm making this video is because I'm going to be changing my primary operating system from now on. All my web development and app development, all the uh, program related work I'll be doing on Ubuntu on a virtual box. The reason why I'm doing this is because uh, recently I was working and uh, suddenly what happens, a window actually crashed and uh, I tried to uh, troubleshoot the error but uh, I couldn't really get my operating system up and running and that is why I lost all my data and all my work. Well, I still had a backup but I had to install and set up a Windows operating system again. So this is why I have actually decided to change my primary computer to Ubuntu Linux, which is a really famous uh, Ubuntu, sorry, Linux distribution. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install Ubuntu and set up your web development workflow on your virtual box in Linux. So first of all, what you need to do is just go to Ubuntu.com and download one of the versions, I would be using Ubuntu 17.10. Uh, it's the latest version, it's got a bit of new features. So yeah, I'll be using this, but if you really want to have a stable operating system, so you can use this Ubuntu 16.04.3 LTS, stands for Long Term Support. So I've already downloaded this. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to go to VirtualBox and you can download VirtualBox from virtualbox.org and click on uh, VirtualBox platform host. So here I'm using Windows as a host operating system. So yeah, I'll be using this. So here you click on it, you can download VirtualBox and install it. Now, the best part about having the virtual box for your workstation is basically you can have a clone of that. So basically, if I set up my virtual box, I can just clone that and copy those files and take it to my office computer or I want to put that into my Mac so I can just install VirtualBox and copy over all the work, uh, workstation files and my operating system will be up and running the same way I was using on this PC so I can have a full backup of operating system which is really great so I have no fear that I'm going to lose my data from now on. So I'm going to click on a new button and then here we'll select what type of operating system we want to install. So I'll go click on Linux and here it'll give you the version of uh, Linux distro. So if I click on this drop down menu, I get all the versions and distros for this. So if you have like other Linux which are not listed here, then you can choose a Linux 64-bit the other one. So I know I'm going to use Win uh, Ubuntu. So I'll click on Ubuntu 64-bit and I will just name this operating system as Workstation. And I'm going to click on next and here I'm going to define how much memory I want to allocate for this workstation. So Ubuntu is pretty great so I'll just allocate 4 megabytes which is uh, pretty sweet. I have 16 gig of uh, RAM installed in my PC so I'll just give 4 megabytes to this operating system. Next I want to create a new virtual hard drive. So the best part about creating a virtual hard drive is that you can copy those files and take it to wherever you want and your whole operating system will be secure so you never lose that uh, setup. So once you modify your operating system the way you want it and once you install all the softwares that you need in your operating system, you don't want to lose them. You don't want to go back and reset all the things. So this is why I'm going to be creating a new virtual disk now. So I'm going to click on create and here we have three options VHD virtual hard disk, virtual machine disk or virtual disk image. So virtual disk image is the way to go. So, so you could copy those files and then import that files into any Oracle virtual box in the future. So let's click on next and here I want to say well I can set my hard drive image size to fixed size or I can give it a dynamically allocated. I can do that dynamically which is kind of cool so whatever uh, the space we're going to use on that virtual box image that's what it's going to get. So let's click on next and here I'm going to give it about let's just say 40 gig right that's uh, I think pretty good for a workstation or we can just give it like 45 gig. And then here I want to click on this button and I want to store this virtual hard drive somewhere on my PC. 
So here I want to show you one more thing here. If I go to this PC, I have that many partitions. So there are a few of them which are SSD partitions. So if you're running an operating system, I would highly recommend install that on your uh, SSD, not on a on a just a standard hard drive. So that's when your operating system will run faster. So here I have an SSD, which is a C drive. And here I created another C, another drive called Workstation, which is an SSD. So I had like 450 gig of uh, SSD. I actually shrink that volume and then created two of them. So I will just select Workstation and here I will create a Workstation. So here I can just create a folder as well. Or let's just say I will just say Workstation and I will get inside this folder and then save that here. And let's click on create and now I'm just gonna click on create again and it's gonna take a few minutes to create that now we created a dynamic allocated so even if I go to the hard drive I'll just take you there and you guys can see that it's not gonna take up the 45 gig straight away so if I go to work session I have this folder here I have this uh, virtual disk image which is only taking about two megabytes at the moment but it will expand the way we fill it up so it's a great thing right so we can have a dynamically allocated so now let's go and install Ubuntu in our virtual box I'm gonna right click on it go to settings and first of all let's go to general we have a name for that we have a type version all those settings are here as well and here basically it's saying that snapshot folder so where you want to create a snapshot for this uh, work session so I want to change that as well so I want to go to click on others and here I will go to workstation partition and I will click on workstation and I will cl click on select folder so I want to create a snapshot right in that folder right next we go to system system we already allocated the RAM for that, 4 megabytes is fine. And here we have this network, we can give it access of network as well. Now let's go to display. Now I have two monitors at the moment, so I can allocate whether I want to work with two monitors or one monitor. You can come back and change the setting later on as well. But for now we just leave one monitor because I'm recording this video as well. Now here we have a video memory, I want to give a little bit of video memory, let's just say 50 two or 56 all right i want to turn on acceleration for 3d and 2d as well so it's saying me that invalid settings so virtual machine is set up to use video stream acceleration as this feature only works with the work windows guest system okay that's cool i'm going to turn this off next go storage storage we need to tell where our linux ubuntu there so if i click double click on it or maybe i go here and here it says choose a virtual optical disk so you need to have an iso uh, file which you download it from a virtual machine sorry from a linux website right so here i have this uh, download so ubuntu 17.10 i'm going to double click on it and that's pretty much it is next we go to audio yes we want to enable audio and then audio input as well we want to enable that as well network yes serial ports yes and uh, USB, we wanna give it access to USB 2.0 devices as well. I can select this USB 3.0 devices as well, but I'm just gonna leave that to 2.0. So we have a shade folder option as well, where I wanna have some folder shade between these two operating systems, so I can select one operating uh, folder as well. So I'll click on plus and I'll click on auto mount and I will click here, go to others and I want to share this drive. So here we have a, a shared drive. So I'm gonna select that, and this is the drive that's gonna get shared. I'm gonna click OK, and now it will have a full access to this drive. And that's pretty much it is, guys. And then we will click on OK. And then we're gonna start our workstation. So I'll click on that and click on Start or we can just double click on that. There are three options available, normal start, headless start, detachable start. We're not gonna go deep into this. If you wanna know about this, you can read the documentation. We just click on normal start. Well, once I click on normal start, it's gonna uh, start my virtual box. I just wanna expand it a little bit. So that's right. So we just expand that. Now it's reading that ISO file and it's gonna install 
our operating system into this virtual machine and I will show you how you can back it up as well so it's taking a bit of time I'll just leave that and uh, pause the video and I'll come back when we come to the settings all right so now we are inside of our virtual box I'm gonna click on install Ubuntu and then I want to say, okay, download updates while installing Ubuntu and install third party uh, graphics and Wi Fi hardware as well. So you could access our operating system. So you could access our Wi Fi as well. So I'm going to click on continue. And the settings you want to look at here is the important one. So here we have erase disk and install Ubuntu, erase new uh, Ubuntu installation for security. Now, if you were installing this Ubuntu within your C drive, that's when you have to go to something else. But right now what we did is we created a virtual disk image. So that disk image is the only drive it knows about. So here we can say, okay, erase the disk and install Ubuntu. And don't worry, it's not going to go to your C drive and erase everything. It's just going to go and erase that virtual disk image. So I'm going to click on install now and let's click on continue and it's going to format that drive the way it wants and then it's going to install Ubuntu. On, yes, I'm in Melbourne, Australia, so I'll just select that. Click on continue, I want to select the cable layout and here I'll type the name of operating system workstation and I'll just type the password which I want to use for this. Lucky it's not showing because otherwise I will have to edit the video so I don't have to do that. So I'll click on continue and now as you can see it's saying copying files and it's going to go and copy all the files and then install Ubuntu for us. Alright guys, so our installation is pretty much done and now Ubuntu is asking me to restart it. So I'm going to click on restart. The next option we see is uh, please remove installation medium and then press enter. So what does that mean? Oops. But now what does that mean? Basically you go to machine, you go to settings, you go to storage and here we have this uh, controller here, right? So basically we have two disks here so we want to remove them so right now we are empty so that's fine i'm going to click ok and then press enter now once i press enter it's going to go and restart itself and now we should see ubuntu operating system up and running there we go over ubuntu operating system is successfully installed so i'm going to click on workstation and we are going to open our one two operating system by typing the password there and uh, it should be up and running soon. All right, cool. Now our Ubuntu is running in a virtual box, looks pretty good. And uh, there's a few other settings that I might do here. For that, we will have to shut down Ubuntu operating system. So you go on the top right here, and I will go shut down. And I click on power off. And then I'm gonna bring up virtual box. So here we have work session. I'm gonna right click on it, go to settings. And we're gonna go to system and processor. So right now, basically we allocated just one processor and I have a two processor here, uh, actually four core processors. So we'll just allocate two of them so it will run a bit smooth. So I'll click okay and double click on workstation to start Ubuntu. And now we should see our Ubuntu operating system up and running properly. All right, I'm gonna log in and uh, there you go. So in the next video, we are going to learn how we can set it up for our uh, web, web development. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. And yeah, subscribe to the channel and talk to you guys.